Welcome back to Texas Top Homes, where home buying, selling, and financing are all simplified. I'm your host, Freeman Sawyer. With me is my co-host, Tracy Wiesman. Today, we're visiting with the one and only Doc Compton. Doc is one of the nation's foremost authorities on credit repair and credit restoration. Doc, thanks for being on the show. Glad to be here. So, Doc, you just mentioned that if somebody does need some some help with their credit, that they reach out to Omega or another company like that, they should make sure they find one that's playing by the rules. Can you explain? I know you're a big consumer advocate for the credit repair industry. Can you explain some of the rules and, and what you see happening? Well, there, there's a handful of things, but the probably the two biggest ones. Uh, the first one that people don't realize that every single day we get calls to our office where someone has gone to another credit repair or credit restoration company that has charged them an upfront fee. Upfront fees are very specifically barred by federal law. Credit Repair Organizations Act, which is the federal act that governs credit repair throughout the entire United States, specifically says that you cannot take money or other valuable consideration before a, a service that has been promised has been fully performed, All right? Okay. Now, you can bill in arrears, meaning that if we do a month's worth of service, we can bill you for that month after the fact. That's how Omega does it. Okay. That's okay. totally legal. It's been tested in the courts. It's totally fine. Where it is illegal is, oh, there's going to be a file setup fee or an audit fee. And these are, you know, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. I know a lot of people in the industry, and I love them all, and they love me until I start talking about this stuff. But the reality of it is... Those constitute upfront fees. A consultation if, fee. Consultation. Well, consultation, if it's a face-to-face and you don't get billed until after that consultation is over, it's gray area, but it's manageable. Okay. That's okay. Uh, but the whole deal of, you know, you have a $87 setup fee. And I don't – there's a company out there that has constantly got all these multi-level marketing shills, and I hate to be ugly, but that's really what it is, that are out there posting these little Instagram-type photos saying 87 bucks a month will do your credit. Well, you pay 87 bucks a month, but you pay an upfront fee and a file setup fee and all these other things, and the results are garbage. The other thing to consider uh, with a company like that is that the salespeople and the um, people that actually do the processing of the files couldn't be more separate. They don't even know each other. So you get salespeople out there that go, oh, yeah, we can do that. They don't have a clue if if it's possible or not. They don't know what they're selling. They're just selling you a fee. Absolutely not. They're looking for some nominal monthly residual income that they get from signing people up in the service. Um, And, you know, the problem with that is people ask me all the time, why are you so adamant about going after these people? And the reason is people like that are the ones that make it difficult for the guys like me who've been doing this for 20 plus years right. to not have to, you know, argue with people. Oh no, I can, this other company charged me $1,500 up front and told me it was totally legal. Well, of course they did. You know, if I thought it was legal, I'd probably do it too, but it's not but it's and you not. can't do it. Sure. So, and, and more often than not, they go to these companies like that and some of the online vendors that you'll find, uh, I won't say any names about whatever, um, such and such law or whatever, but <laughs> anybody that knows is probably know, knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, these companies will just milk it for as long as they can. They'll address one or two things each month for 18 to 24 months, and they'll tell you up front it's going to be 18 to 24 months. Wow. Well, I just sat here and told you that it's going to be four months mm-hmm. in all likelihood. Right. The reason being we don't do one or two things at a time. We go after everything with a broad stroke right from the outset. So a lot of times what people see – very, very quickly is a significant jump in the beginning, and then it's fine-tuning after that. Now, what about the game plan of repairing my credit? So, you know, I I know that, you know, you said, you know, everyone's uniquely different, and I get it. Credit's like fingerprints. Everybody's completely different. Um, But do you consult with that customer and kind of give them your game plan and how you're going to attack it? To an extent, uh, to be honest, it's very general mm-hmm. at that point. The reason being, everyone comes to us and they say, you know, the first line of uh, every potential client's mouth is, my scores used to be 750 every <laughs> single time. But, or, and then. They tell us the same know, thing. <laughs> and it's the divorce or the loss of a job or, you know, whatever, they were sick or whatever the deal is. And that's fine. It doesn't matter. What we care about right now is what's on your report right now, that your credit score and report Today are right a, now. This minute. Yep. That, that would be your V2 Auto Specific credit report. That one. <laughs> yeah. The one that Not we loan money off of? Not <laughs> yeah. the Credit Karma one. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's a snapshot yeah. of where you stand right now. 
And it doesn't really say a lot about the backstory, about losing your job sure. or losing your spouse or whatever it was that caused right. the decline right. uh, or the recession or you know whatever. The, um, but current day, this is what we're looking at. When I look at a credit report, and people think I'm nuts when I say this, uh, Tracy's actually seen me do it. Mm -hmm. I can look at a credit report in probably a minute, minute and a half, and tell you if someone's a good candidate for what we do. And that's a pretty long file. Uh, if they've got a shorter file, I can do it in 30 seconds. The reason being, we're looking for companies more than we are um, particular patterns and things like that, because there are certain companies that I know with the volume of experience that I have, this company is going to be a huge pain in the rear to get rid of. Gotcha. They're going to do whatever. So it's There's not only what you know, it's who you know. Well, yep. that it's also has a lot to do with the fact that I know that this particular company is going to take four months. And the reason it's going to take four months is because I'm, we're going to send this letter. They're going to respond with this, to which we're going to respond with this, and they're going to respond with this. And it's going to go back and forth like that about four or five times. Once we get to that fifth point and they realize, hey, look, we've kind of got you dead to rights, and if you don't play ball, you, there's a solid chance you might even end up getting sued out of this. Right. Because we do refer these cases out to attorneys very, very regularly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Probably I'd say 30 to 40 a month get referred out to attorneys. Okay. Um, that can be actually a, a huge profit center for the clients, sure. believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So, I like it. Hey, Doc, thanks for being on the show today. If For our listeners out there that want to reach out to you and get things started, what's your website? www.omegacreditrepair.com or my personal website, doccompton.com. And if they want to just call you direct and get it going now? 214-733-8336. 